Okay. So that is how you do that. Okay, again, create your Gmail if you don't have one. Access the link that is in the group. Okay, access this link. Then you're gonna have this folder. So you right click, new folder, your name, and create. And your folder will be there with your name. So your practices and homework, you open your folder and you put them here. It says drag your files here. So you right click again. You have upload files, you open, you select the file that you want to upload, my picture, and you upload your file. And that's it, the teacher will be able to see it. Okay, that's, those are the steps for it. There you go. So folks, I sent a video to the group of yesterday's class. Uh, it'll be a good idea for you to check that out. Um, it was very good about reflexive pronouns. It is in the group, so you can check it out. Um, it explains how to use reflexive pronouns and also to use by myself and for myself and to myself, those things. So check that out, please. So let me explain some things here before we move on to the next unit. Um, in here we have yes or no questions. I was checking your practices and some of you have problems with that, with yes or no questions, with the verb to be. So yes or no questions, guys, is pretty, pretty, pretty simple. But what is the structure for it? Because your book doesn't give you a, a specific structure. And that's what I, that's what you need. So, yes or no questions. Can I make it bigger? No, okay. damn it. There you go. So what do you see on your yes or no questions? Let me do this so you, this doesn't disturb, very good. Yes or no questions. So on your yes or no questions, we have that the first part is the verb to be. B plus subject plus complement. And the question mark. B plus subject plus complement. What is that? For example, are you Italian? Are you Italian? So what do we have? The verb to be, the subject, and the complement, the rest of the sentence. Another example. Is Maria from Afghanistan? Is Maria from Afghanistan? This is another example. So is, verb to be, Maria, subject from Afghanistan, just complement, okay? Um, another one, are you No, let's say, is Carlos a good student? Is Carlos a good student? So this, you have is, the verb to be, Carlos, the subject of our sentence, and a good student, the complement, of the sentence. 
So they are called yes or no questions because the answer to these questions is gonna be yes or no. So you can say, for example, are you Italian? You say no. I am not. After you give the answer, after you say yes or no, you can give a, an explanation. You can say, I am Dominican. Okay, but that is after you say no, yes or no, okay? So, are you Italian? No, I'm not. I am Dominican. Is Maria from Afghanistan? No, she's not. Oh, when you speak, you use the contraction, remember, but that is only speaking. No, she's not. She's from France. This is an example. Okay. Uh, is Maria from Afghanistan? No, she's not. She's from France. Let's change this name because Maria is. Let's put Chanel. And is Carlos a good student? Yes, he, yes. So those are yes or no questions. That is how we uh, form them, how we use them, how we uh, structure them like that. So remember B, subject, complement, and question mark. So I want to see some examples of yours in the group right now. I want to see some examples on the group. Give me some examples of yes or no questions. Write some examples in the chat of yes or no questions right now. Move on. Come on, one example each. One example each, please. This is gonna kill me. Guys, uh, I think the examples of yes or no questions with the verb to be. It's here, the examples, okay? Be plus subject plus complement. So I want some yes or no questions with the verb to be. Uh, Ismail, Marta is chef. Marta is chef. Okay, check these examples, Ismail. I have, you are Italian. And the other example that you have, Ismail, is, Mar oh, well, the same question, Marta is You have, Chanel is from Afghanistan. No, that's not a question. Carlos is a good student. No, that's not a question. It's, is Maria a chef? Another person here that has a mistake as well is Willie. What do you play who? What the hell? Willie, that's not a yes or no question. That is a WH question and it's not even with the verb to be and it's also incorrect. And another person, Niobe, you say, is she eat much? I don't understand that question. Maybe you're trying to say, does she eat much? That would be a simple present question with a verb that is not the verb to be. Remember, it's with the verb to be. 
no with the verb, no with a different verb like it. It is a different verb. The questions have to be with the verb to be. You cannot use another verb in the sentence. Are you from China? Well, Willie, the verb to be, the verb to be is are, is, and am. Those three conjugations. That is the verb to be in simple present. So what is your confusion? R is M. Is Maria a good student? No, he's not. He's Mexican. Uh, are you from China? Is Mr. Vilches from Venezia? Guys, remember to create the examples yourselves, okay? You need to practice. Is Juana from Miami? No. Uh, Juana is a woman, Jonathan, so you're supposed to say, no, she's not. She is from Italia. No, she's not. She is from Italia. Uh, Willie, what's your question? Let me see. Is Miguel Andujar a good baseball player? Yes, that is correct. Because the verb to be is there, then you have Miguel Andujar, which is the subject, and then a complement. Uh, is she your mother? Okay, that is good. Is Maria a good student? That is my example. Doubtless. You just changed the name. Are you a doctor? Ruiz? Priscilla is, are you a doctor? If you're using professions, you need to use a. Okay, if you're using professions, you need to use a. So, are you a doctor? That's how you, how you would say it. Are you a baseball player? Is she a good student? Always a with professions. Are you a student, Alan, a student from Loyola? Is Juana from Miami? No, she's not, she's, in, she's from Italia. She's from Italia. Jonathan, if the question is, is Juana from? The answer has to be, she's from, okay? No, she's not, she's from Italia. And, if you, and you cannot be from Miami, you have to be from the United States because Miami is just a state. My question is correct, yeah, Willie. I used to answer that question. Is one a mechanic? Yes, mechanic man, but mechanic with C H A. Uh, yes, he uh, he got problems with pronouns as well. Guys, he and she. He and she. Not he. And not she, obviously. So mind your pronouns and mind your writing.
M1. Okay, so that's it. So, guys, let's uh, create another another session so we can finish up with this. Let me check your another person that was right there. Is Carla a good driver? No, he's not. Is Manuel a good person? Uh, Jose Manuel, remember to use the question mark. It is a question. Are you the teacher, Brian? <laughs> is Jose a good teacher? Yes. He is a good teacher, Roman. Yes, he is a good teacher. Yes, he is. It's not necessary to say, yes, he is a good teacher. It's just, yes, he is. Is Manuel a good person? Question mark, no coma, Jose Manuel, question mark. Remember, that's a question. You cannot use a coma. You have to use a question mark. Is Manuel a good student? Question mark. Uh, are you American? No, I'm not. I am Mexican. And is he practice now? No, no, but that is incorrect. You have to say, is he practicing? That is a present continuous question. Okay. 